Hi there, I'm Cheryl, and we're going to make this card today. Isn't that a beauty? I'm using the um, Petal Palette stamp set and this um, rose cluster here. But these are nice stamps. They're all kind of a watercolory effect look and so, so pretty. So let me tell you everything that you're going to need other than that stamp set. You need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Um, and this is score it and fold it at four and a half. Oh, I'm really messing up already. It, this is five and a half by eight and a half. Scored and fold it, <clears throat> excuse me, at four and a quarter. Then we need another piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I've already pre cut my lace border because it's just simple die cutting. And this is an odd ball size. This is three by three and eleven sixteenths by four and fifteen sixteenths. Don't worry, I've got that written down below. And then we need another little bit of Whisper White to cut a butterfly out. And a piece of pear pizzazz. And this is five and one eighth by three and three quarters. Okay. And I also used the Papillon Potpourri stamp set. I used this butterfly right here. If you have that stamp set, great. If you don't, then look through your stash. I bet you have a nice little butterfly you can use. You can stamp it and fussy cut it out, but I also have the stain. I have the punch for that, and I use. I'm going to be using both of those. Um, this was. This is that nice lacy border I use. This is from the Sweetheart Borders by Heartfelt Creations. And another thing you might want to have is this nice little setup here. This is a dye brush and a foam mat that Stampin' Up sells. And do you need it? Can you live without it? No, you don't need it. Yes, you can live without it. But I got to tell you, when if you like um, the delicate lacy um, dyes, then this is a wonderful thing to have. You just put your put your dye on there, and you just roll it over. And if it's still in in the um, die, it works even better. And you just roll it over. All these little bits, or most of them, will pop right out. And it takes you no time at all. It sure beats poking all of them out with a little um, uh, paper piercing tool. Okay. You will need um, sweet sugar plum and pear pizzazz inks. I have four little, little diamonds, little rhinestones. And if um, your little rhinestones are attached, don't cut them apart. Leave them all attached. It'll make it so much easier when we go to put them on the butterfly. And I have four, um, oh, what are they? Glue dots. And Tombow glue. I've got snail. And then I have some quarter inch ribbon that coordinates with my, with my pear pizzazz. Uh, cardstock and stamp ink and uh, we're going to need you need quite a bit of this because we're going to need let's see um, we're going to need 18 inches just for these these crossed pieces here and then oh probably another 12 to 15 I'd go 15 inches for these little loops on here okay so you need quite a bit of this it's not just one little bit that goes across we're using quite a bit of ribbon on this and that's it that's all we need so let's put the card together okay let's do some stamping here first now I didn't do a sentiment or anything on here but you know if, if you know what you're going to be using this for when you're making it then then um, yeah you're gonna gonna probably want a sentiment of some sort on the outside, maybe on the inside, a little banner. Um, let's see. 
there's no place really you could stamp there's no open spot on there you could stamp it but you could put a little banner across here happy birthday happy anniversary um, whatever so I'm going to use my rose stamp and I'm going to ink that up with the sweet sugar plum ink and I'm going to I want to make I'm going for a line of them down this side here so let's see let's do it like that and yes I'm stamping off the sides here and I'm yeah I got a little rock and roll there I'm really bad about that and let's see right here I think and you know what I think that's enough okay so let me wipe this up I'll grab a my microfiber cloth here. Wipe that up so we don't end up with sweet sugar plum everywhere. And I'll close that up. And we'll stamp our butterfly. Okay. Let me bring the punch in here too. And, oh, there it is. I already have it out. And I'm using pear pizzazz ink for that. Oh, yeah, pear pizzazz. For a second there, I thought I told you wrong, but let's see. Straight down, straight up. I actually have to say that to myself because if I don't, I will rock and roll. And then I have those little, little halos around it. So I'll just take my stamp. I bet opened up and from the back and slide that paper in there get that lined up in my stamp or with my stamp there we go oh <laughs> that always scares me just a little bit i know this is gonna i know the little bit is gonna pop out and every time it still scares me a little Okay, so now we can put our ribbons on. So on the back of this piece, I'm going to take my snail. I'm going to run my snail across the back. This is going to make things so much easier for us. Then on the front, right in the middle here, I'm going to put one of my glue dots. Let me peel one out here. And I'm kind of looking through the paper, but right right here I want it kind of centered. I'm going to put my glue dot. And that will give my ribbon something to to hold on to. Okay, so I need Need three pieces about six inches long here. So let me cut those. So my New Year's resolution for this year is to use up the supplies that I have. I have I have so much designer paper. And you see what I do? I, I end up stamping my my um, backgrounds most of the time. Okay, so I'm going to put, first I'm going to put my, the one that will go down the center. And this could have been a little bit longer. We might run into a little bit of a problem when I go to do the diagonal ones. Hmm, I hope not. I hate to waste ribbon. I only have like three drawers full of ribbon. Let me see if this is going to work. No, I need longer pieces. Oh dear. Alright, 
Let me cut two more pieces. Well, that just helped me use up some supplies, huh? Okay. So now we'll line that up. Yeah, now I've got plenty of ribbon. And we want our little pieces to cross in the center here. And just wrap that around the back, stick it on the tape. This one wants to come loose too. I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of tape closer to the edge there. Okay, there. That's stuck down now. See if I'd only cut them like just a, just another maybe inch longer, it would have been fine. I was trying to save, trying to conserve on ribbon because like I said, I just, I've only got like two or three drawers full of it. That one needs a little bit more tape too. Okay, so there we go. Stick that onto that glue dot too. So there we've got our pieces. And the next thing we'll do are the loops. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put down two glue dots right there where they cross. And there's one. Another one, and that oh, should hold my loops. So I'm just going to work off the spool for this. Now stick, stick my end here in the on the glue dot. Make my one loop and be careful you don't twist your your ribbon unless you want it twisted. So that's and we want three on each side here. Okay, so now I've got three on the top, and here's my last one for the bottom, and it wants to twist, so I'm going to, I'm going to cut that off, and there we go, now we've got, got our loops all fastened down there, you see, oh, that one could be a little shorter, let me pull that, there we go. Come on, stick on the glue dot. Ah, there. I'm going to trim that tail off then. And now we can put our butterfly on, and that's what I'll be using my last glue dot for if I can find it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I'll just pick up the glue dot with my butterfly. And before I stick him down, I'm going to just, I'm going to just turn his wings up just a little bit. We're not going to get real crazy about that. And just center him right on top of those nice little loops. And let's get our, peel our little um, rhinestones off. And they'll go right down the center of the butterfly. Okay, so now we can just attach everything together. All right, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to use some Tombow. I'm not going to bother to put Tombow on the lace. And I'm just going right over my ribbons, over my tape. I don't care. And that will be glued down to our bit of pear pizzazz paper. And we'll start over on this side 
and we want that centered top to bottom with an even amount we want an even amount peeking out top bottom and this side okay and then turn this over apply Tombow center this on our card base and my goodness that's it the card is done but isn't that nice now all you have to do is decide what you're going to use the card for and you can stamp your sentiment on the inside and maybe put a little banner on the front or just leave the front blank and have it on the inside so I hope you've enjoyed this card and if you have, then hit the like button down below so I can see that you liked it. If you'd like to see more of my card making videos, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. And when I do a new one, it'll pop up over in that column over on the side there on YouTube. And if there are any products from Stampin' Up! that you'd like to purchase today, then you can do that either through my Facebook page or my website. And oh, by the way, check my Facebook page out every now and then because I do put things up there. Um, if there are sales going on or anything special is happening or, or sometimes I just put some pictures up. Not very often, you know, pictures of a personal nature, but sometimes, a few times I have. And um, I thought I would share but um yeah check my Facebook page once in a while because right now celebrations going on and I have the PDFs for that up there and on the for the new occasions catalog that it's come out and um, I put things sales up there that maybe they're not even stamping up sales so check it out so, y'all, take care, stay safe, and happy stampin'.